Elon Musk company working on brain implants is under fire after 15 of 23 monkeys undergoing experiments allegedly died. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, the PCRM, a nonprofit organization dedicated to animal welfare, is going to file a complaint against Neuralink. The PCRM claims that researchers at Neuralink illegally mistreated monkeys and subjected them to extreme suffering during experiments with brain implants. The animal rights group plans to file a complaint with the U.S. Department of Agriculture for this, according to Business Insider. How did this happen? Would you like to know? Then stay tuned to the video. Welcome to the world of Tesla. If you like topics like this, don't forget to land your finger on that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss an update about Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, and topics like that. Having said that, let's begin. Neuralink Corporation is a neural technology company developing implantable brain machine interfaces and co founded by Elon Musk and others. The company's headquarters is in the Pioneer Building in San Francisco, sharing offices with OpenAI. Neuralink was launched in 2016 and was first publicly reported in March of 2017. Since its founding, the company has hired several high profile neuroscientists from various universities. By July of 2019, it had received $158 million in funding, of which $100 million was from Musk and was employing a staff of 90 employees. At that time, Neuralink announced that it was working on a sewing machine-like device capable of implanting very thin threads into the brain and demonstrated a system that read information from a lab rat via 1,500 electrodes. They had anticipated starting experiments with human beings in 2020, but have since moved that projection to 2022. Earlier this year, Neuralink, Elon Musk's company working on brain implants, posted a job opening for a director of clinical trials. The startup wants to start testing its technology on humans. Among other things, the job posting states that the director must work with Neuralink's first participants in clinical trials. This suggests that the company plans to begin testing the first brain implants in humans very soon. Neuralink was founded by Elon Musk in 2016 to create a so-called brain-computer interface. The company's first goal is to help people with neurological disorders, such as paralysis, in their daily lives. Musk tweeted in April of last year, for example, that paralyzed people would be able to operate a smartphone using Neuralink. Later versions of the technology could even send signals to the limbs, allowing people with paralysis to walk backwards. So far, the company has only conducted experiments on animals, such as pigs and monkeys. The company even went viral last year when it sent a video of a macaque with a brain implant into the world. The video showed how the monkey first played with a joystick, after which the joystick was disconnected and the macaque controlled the game solely with its brain signals. Neuralink has not yet made any official announcements about starting trials on humans. Elon Musk said back in 2019 that the first human trials would start next year in 2020. The eccentric billionaire is known for his optimistic predictions about his company's goals. The technology raises eyebrows among some skeptics. Neuralink has been compared to the episode The Entire History of You from the well-known sci-fi series Black Mirror. In the episode in question, set in the near future, everyone has a brain implant that allows them to share and replay memories. The dystopian series now seems to be quietly becoming a reality for some. Elon Musk even wants to take it a step further. When he announced in 2017 that he had founded Neuralink the year before, he shared what his end goal for the company was in a lengthy blog post from Wait But Why. Musk doesn't want to stop at helping people with physical disabilities. His end goal 
is to improve the human brain through AI, which we could even eventually merge with. Rather, the tech mogul sees Neuralink as a step toward our evolution into a post-human species. But should Elon Musk need to make all this happen? He will have to do something different. This week, it was announced that the majority of the monkeys in which a brain implant had been implanted had died. The PCRM argues that Neuralink regularly violates animal rights laws. For example, monkeys are said to have undergone unnecessary suffering. According to the group, more or less every monkey with which tests were carried out suffered from, quote, debilitating health effects. Whether this is true or not is not yet clear. What is clear is that if this is true, Elon Musk is committing a great shame. Especially in today's world where we're very conscious of the environment and animal welfare. Among the examples cited by the PCRM are a monkey that was put down after losing several toes and fingers. Another test animal suffered a brain hemorrhage after the brain chip was implanted and had to be euthanized. There is also talk of a monkey that developed a bloody skin infection and that animal too had to be euthanized. If the complaint turns out to be true, it disproves what Elon Musk said about the monkeys just last year. He said then that one of the test animals is totally happy. The company also showed a video last year of an apparently healthy monkey playing the game Pong. The company's end goal is to improve the human brain. Musk announced this back in 2017. According to Musk, Neuralink would allow people to eventually communicate through digital telepathy. Mental illnesses could also be eradicated and the thinking ability of our brain could be improved. Neuralink is working on brain-computer interfaces, which are initially intended to help paralyze people with daily tasks. Later, the company even wants to make it possible to cure paralysis. Neuralink would soon begin the first trials on humans. For now, it's not really known when first human trials will begin. If the complaint proves well-founded, it's not unlikely that those trials could be delayed. Jeremy Beckham, a spokesman for the PCRM, told Business Insider he was very skeptical about the company's ability to conduct human trials at this time. We suspect Elon Musk will get there with his company. Hopefully, the rumors are not true and the animals did not suffer much. What do you think of Neuralink? Will this Elon Musk company become successful? Let us know in the comments below. If you want an update about topics like this or topics like Tesla, SpaceX, or Elon Musk, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching the world of Tesla. See you next time.